All right, in this video, we're going to uh, talk about some of the basics of information processing theory, uh, the theory behind how we, how we learn and, and digest information and as, as it enters our, our mind. So information uh, enters our, our mind and it goes into the working memory. And, and the working memory is exactly that. It's an area where we are consciously working on, on math and a problem and we're trying to solve it. Or it's, the, it's when we're listening to a teacher and that's what's in the forefront of our mind. That's what we're working on, that's our working memory. Well, after students leave class, they aren't thinking about it, and it goes into the long-term memory, and then they come back the next day, and they need to remember that stuff again. They pull it from their long-term memory back into their working memory, and then they're working uh, whatever problem it is again. And each time we do that, we, the goal is, is that we get a little better of an understanding of whatever it is, whatever the topic is that we're working on. And um, it's just like uh, you know, working on a car or something, or anything you do, riding a uh, jumping rope. The first time you do it, it's a little difficult. Um, you try it again, your muscles remember a little bit of how you did it. You try it again, and each time you do it, you get a little, little better at it. Your understanding becomes a little better. Um, so there's a relationship between the working memory and long-term memory. And, and so that's what we need to keep in mind. And Keep in mind that the working memory, that's where we are actually doing the work, our conscious work uh, during class.